sit down. Commander, could you give the Tikas Pahinga to the troops? Thank you. Tikas! Secretary Delphine Lorenzana and members of the cabinet present, General Eduardo Anio, Lieutenant General Glorioso Miranda, Major Service Commanders, Most Reverend Udolpo Tumalak, the officers, men and women of the Philippine Army, fellow workers in government, my beloved countrymen. Since the establishment of the Philippine Army 120 years ago, our history is replete with tales of our soldiers' great sacrifices and significant victories to best protect our people and our national sovereignty. With primordial duty to serve the country, our Army's acts of courage and bravery give assurance to our people to live in peace and stability. As we continue to face both perennial and fresh security challenges, this administration guarantees that our soldiers are well provided with the necessary training equipment and benefits before they go to war. In line with the government's modernization program on the armed forces of the Philippines, we have been providing telecommunications apparatus and firepower and infantry fighting vehicles to the Army. This was among the priority initiatives we immediately undertook when assumed the presidency in July last year. We have allocated almost 6.5 billion pesos for Philippine Army projects under the revised AFE modernization plan which will be used to procure individual equipment such as rifles, pistol grenade launchers, and force protection armors. Last September, I signed an executive order increasing combat pay to all members of the armed forces from 500 pesos to 3,000 pesos per month. <clears throat> Under combat incentive pay, from 150 pesos to 300 pesos per day. This modest increase will definitely help the families while our soldiers are in the battlefield. The Department of Budget and Management is also working on the proposed compensation adjustment to increase the base pay and hazard pay of our military personnel. I have directed the GSIS to study the possibility of how having a housing loan program that will complement the soldier's ability to pay. I believe that the soldiers will be more confident to perform their mandate knowing that their loved ones are secure and well sheltered. But remember, it is not only the acts of chaos and terror that you must end. I trust that the Philippine Army and all branches of the military will continue to help us in our drive against illegal drugs. This is a serious call not only for you, but to all Filipinos, including your loved ones, whose lives may be affected or lost if you will not help to resolve it. Without you, our government will not be able to eradicate the ills of society that have been crippling our development for a long time. The Philippines will truly be harmonious and a progressive nation with you, our soldiers, as our country's vanguards of peace, freedom, and justice. Bago po ako maghinto, meron na pa akong pakiusap. This rocos in Bulacan, eh, parang inagaw ng mga kapwa nating Pilipino na mahirap rin. Uh, 
I will look into the matter seriously. And I will ask you, soldiers and the policemen, bitawa na lang ninyo yan, ibigay na lang natin sa kanila. Total mahirap sila. But I promised you, I will look for another land nearby or adjacent or maybe contiguous to that area there. And gagawa ako ng mas maganda, may tubig na, at may electric na pagpasok ninyo. It would be... Well, the maraming dynamics dyan. Walang tubig, walang ano, at kulang, and hindi maganda pagkagawa. Uh, Those were not during my times, but I have asked the National Housing Authority to look for a suitable land at papalitan ko na lang yan. On equal numbers, wag na lang natin guluhin yung mga tao dyan kasi lumalaban eh. And uh, you know, the only, their only sin is just really mahirap rin sila kagaya natin. So bigyan ko kayo ng mas maganda, mas kunting mahal, mas komportable, at uh, mas malaki. Ngayon yung kadamay, ibigay ko na lang yan sa inyo, paalasin ko na lang, huwag niyo paalisin yung mga sundalo, pati polis na nandiyan na. But eventually, they will be removed and transferred to inyo na mas maganda pa sa inyong inagaw. Uh, para hindi na kayo magagaw. Ayaw ko kasing pilitin ang isyo because it would somehow result in bugbogan, mapaluan, and to think that uh, our sin is just talagang mahirap lang tayo. So, I still have the money. Tinanong ko ang NHA. Sabi niya, sir, marami pa tayong pera. Uh, yan ang pinakamalaging binuhos ko. Agriculture, education, pabahay. Sabi ko, pwede natin ibigay furnace na. Oh, sir, sabi nila, utos mo. Oh. Kama lang. Okay na yung kama. Furnace na kama. Ilo mo kailangan mo. Well, anyway, I said, uh, I'm asking you, kung maari lang, do not be offended. Uh, take it with an open mind. Ako na mismo, inyong presidente, nakikiusap sa inyo, let us not wage a fight against our own people. Total, mahirap lang yan sila. Intindi na lang ninyo. And I will build another housing project for you soonest. And I will in intend to complete it by December. Kayong mga awardees, kung in the fullness of God's time, maybe by December, pipilitin ko talagang matapos. At doon na lang kayo. Huwag na lang kayo makipag-away wala rin kwenta eh. Tapos ang polis, kayo, may baril. And, you know, something could go awfully wrong. So, hayaan na lang natin, basta nakita ng mga Pilipino, uh, that is the behavior of some, but I said, uh, to me, their only sin is just, they are also poor like us. But just the same, uh, I am making you the commitment and I guarantee that you will have your mas maganda. Walang mga problema because I will personally go there to supervise your housing project. And hopefully by December, mag magdasal lang tayong lahat. But everything goes well and you can transfer to the new house. Forget about that. Uh, yung mga kadamay nandiyan, huwag ninyong galawin ang mga sundalo pati polis. Kasi pag hindi, tuloy yan, paalisin ko kayong lahat. Do not create trouble, avoid chaos, and we will try to solve what ails this country. Maraming salamat po.